so I guess this is a part four. The, the last video, the last uh, camera in the last video went off at about roughly after 43 minutes. That is my old battery. That's the battery that made the channel. So I guess this is another video. This is not so burned in here. Coming back to you yet again with uh, part four of exploring route RN9 to Wuvanza. I'm in Wuvanza anyway, or otherwise now known as Commune. Uh, <laughs> I forgot the name. Lord. It's a new name anyway. So yeah. A big shout out to all 3,457 or 58 subscribers. I appreciate you guys for staying and watching the videos. Even though I haven't been that consistent, I'm pretty sure that you guys re-watch my videos every now and then, especially those of you that are not quite able to come to Burundi ever, every so often. I guess my videos make you visit Burundi. whenever you get a chance so bon voyage what does that mean are we leaving what bon voyage no it's just commune manda Oh, the scenes out here are just amazing. The sun is out. And we are... 25.41 kilometers in. We are somewhat close to the ascend leading to Uvanza Sant. I don't think I'll make it to Uvanza today, especially with the battery power. If I had a third battery, then maybe. The second battery will just make us, it will take us as far as the ascend. I'll show you the area. I'll show you what I'm talking about. But if I could somewhat find a place to charge, then maybe, just maybe. I could climb and get to Lanza Center. But anyway, the further on I get to make it while recording, the more battery I save for the next time when I come here. Because the next time I come here, I'm not going to be recording all the way because you guys have already seen all of that. So I'll have more battery next time. There's a school out here. Kids are not in school just yet. I guess they're about to open up the classes. But y'all know me. I am all about the scenes. Oh Lord. 
see this is what I mean like try jogging all the way out here and see how that works out for you it's impossible but you can cycle all the way out here see something different ah I think we've reached the ascend to Avanza it's up ahead let me turn the camera around for you guys you have to see what I'm seeing <laughs> look at that these are rice fields I think with a bit of uh, palm trees here and there And if this is your first video of me exploring this road, RN9 to Uvanza, then you might want to go back and watch the previous full videos that I posted. Each one of them is roughly about 25 minutes long on average. This one here being the shortest, because I don't think I'm going to go beyond that climb. Because once we start climbing, we will be heading to Muvogora after Muvogora comes uh, brrr, I don't know Uvanza Sant I guess but anyway enough of me talking we're already here anyways enjoy the view you guys can see the the palm trees up ahead over there like that far the rest of the land close to the road I think was cleared up for rice fields and by the way I hate rice that is grown in Bovanza I don't know maybe we buy the low quality but if the rice that I that we eat at home that we buy occasionally is the best that Bovanza has to offer then no absolutely not there's so many stones in it like even the cook no matter how much time they take trying to get the stones out of the rice it just it never works never does so Bovanza rice a big X I'm sorry but no <laughs> I'll eat rice grown in Tanzania until y'all figure out a way to clear out all the stones. And you can never really find a rice grain that's complete. Every other rice grain that you come across is broken into half. Anyway, I'm not going to diss home. Don't you ever, ever be tempted to buy one of those. That is a trash bike. And it costs nearly 15 to 25 million for that piece of trash. The power output is trash. The torque is trash. Everything about it is trash. For that same price, I could get a lovely Bajaj Dominar that I could use to explore all of Burundi. But yeah, I guess they exploit people's uh, ignorance. <sighs> Finally caught up to this guy again. Ah, 
Are we climbing today? Huh? Are we climbing? Ah, great. <laughs> How far is your ones from here? Ah, hell no. 10 kilometers climbing is not uh, is not the same petty. Oh. I don't know, let's enjoy some decline. Let's climb a bit so we can enjoy some declining. The ch nothing, nothing wrong with the chain, I think you can use some gears now. Is there any gear that's not engaging? The last one, the light is... The lightest gear is not engaging. Oh, okay. I had a hell of a time tuning this bike. The gears weren't properly set and I'm still not totally done tuning it. But yeah. She even I, I didn't it, it got the, there's cold wind. When it's cold wind you don't get the need to drink water as much. See this trail. Ha. Oh hell no. Next time, Joe. Today we're on a mission. You know, you, you, we still have to go back. <laughs> oh, by the way, so this is the uh, ascend that I was talking about. The ascend that begins your journey to Wanza Center. Yo, 10 kilometers. Did you did you check the map? It's five kilometers, yo. Okay, it's five kilometers from 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 uh, Mubogoda, from Mom's place, from Mom's place to Wanza Center is five kilometers. Now from here to Mubogoda, Mubogoda is close, yo. Wait, is that Mubogoda? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So these are the last five minutes of the ride. We made it this far. Next time we will try to make it to Wanza. How's your butt? Huh? So. This is the view that I was talking about, y'all. I had to place the camera on the helmet mount just to show you guys. Yo, I have a whole three more bikes at home just sitting there. If you are in Bujumbura and you are interested in riding with us, just reach out to me. For a small fee, something that could ensure that I get to maintain the bike, you can come and travel, do 30 kilometers with us. Because I think it took 25 to 28 kilometers to get here. That's a cow farm. I don't see that many cows in there though. And from here, we begin to descend. There are so many ways to enjoy Burundi. And with me, one of those ways is riding. I don't know how to have a night out. I can't go clubbing because it's not my thing. I could probably hang out with friends at night. But I can't really go beyond 10 p.m. because 
after 10 p.m. I'm just usually hella exhausted. You don't want to chill out, see your life. Yo, take a break, man. You don't want to take a break. Yo. You don't want to take a break. <laughs> the view, the view, the view, the view. Take a break and stretch, yo. Take a break right here on beyond these trees. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is the end of the video. All of the other bikes that I have look exactly like that it's just like this one here I have uh, water bottles I have uh, the bottle cages I have this uh, phone bag right here where you can place your phone and ID and money and whatnot I have another bag that goes right here a saddle bag that you can use so you know I have all of the equipment what I don't have is the extra tubes just in case somebody pops a wheel but I'm working on that. In the meantime, I've used that bike for a year. Nothing's happened to the wheel. These wheels here are thicker. So, yeah. And and the what? Portable pump. Portable pump. Yeah. Nah, but we can find pumps anywhere. There's a bunch of guys that, that fix bikes. Are those cranes? Crane. There's some birds over in the distance. I don't know if you guys can see them. Those black and white birds. Those black figures that are moving right there. Nah, they're not cranes. I don't know what they are, but they look like cranes though. Yeah, they're usually on rice splits. They, they, so that means they're pests. It's, it's a pest. It's eating up the plantation, man. Anyways, this is not so burned in here. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.